We're looking for a little otter pup. His name is Cork. Have you seen him? I'll take that as a no. He's got to be out here somewhere. Yeah, but we'll never find him. He's so tiny, and the ocean is huge. It's like finding a needle in a haystack or a cork in the ocean. Hey, what's that out there? It's... It's Cork! We found him! Yeah, I knew we would. We're coming, Cork! Be there in a gym. Crap-rose. Come in, Crap-rose. Read ya. Go, Jimmy. We found Cork. Our hover bike's disabled, so we could use some help. Got your coordinates. We're on our way. Sit tight, Cork. Help is on the way. Huh? Awesome! A bald eagle. Not awesome! They hunt sea otters. Jimmy, get to that pup. Quick, swim for it! Huh? But I can't. I'm not the best swimmer. And... You're a great swimmer. Coach taught you how. You can do it, Jimmy. Hurry! To the creature rescue! You little cork. Woohoo! Jimmy, you did it! What a swim! Great swimming rescue, Jimmy. And you even did it without sea otter power. Well, I did use what Coach taught me. I still may not be the world's best swimmer, but I can swim much better now. Thanks, Coach. Well, that's mission accomplished. We helped teach Jimmy how to swim better. Woohoo! And we found out a lot about the sea otter's amazing swimming abilities. Swimming otter style is awesome. I like that awesome fur coat that keeps them dry. I like the way they use a rock to open clams. Even though it makes me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, your turn. OK, here goes. Woo! Jimmy, can you try calling Chris and Martin? In a minute. Mmm, pickles and cheese. Now that's a sweet smelling combo. Huh? A kitty cat! Hey, who got the kitty? Kitty? Kitty, kitty witty, cutie cute. Oh, you dance? You even do tricks! Hey, who trained this cat? Jimmy, what cat? This one! Coochie, 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 coo! Coochie, 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 coo! Jimmy, that's not a cat! It's a skunk! A what? Run! Oh, oh, finally, we made it. <laughs> Painful morning. Oh, oh. Tell me about it. And stinky. Woo! Oh, no. That stink! Look out! You ran us right out of our headquarters. That skunk took over the Tortuga. Who? How? Ew! We got Jimmy! And our Tortuga! Looks like he's denning up in there. Told you creatures were making themselves a home around the HQ. But it's our home base. All our stuff is in there. Our inventions, designs, adventure gear, everything. We gotta get it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy, that's bad. <laughs> and it burns your eyes? And I feel a little sick. We are dealing with a serious creature defense here. A really stinky. 
situation. Uh, Jimmy, we really like you, but, well... You've been skunked. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had tomato soup. Some people say it gets rid of the smell. Really? It's a good thing I keep emergency food in my secret outdoor compartment. How come we didn't know about that compartment? It's secret. I'll just be over here, taking a bath in my lunch. Jamina's recipe. Hey, Martin, aren't you gonna have one? Oh, stop me at ten. Yummy. Uh, <gasps> uh, guys, come on, chew with your mouths closed. Uh, bro, there's a bat in the brownies. What? Cool. <laughs> a bite-sized little brown bat. And that's what I'm gonna call you. Bite size. Am I in a nightmare? You're holding a blood drinking, rabies infected, vicious little monster. What? Not true. Who told you that about bats? My grandma Jimena told me. Well, Jimmy, your grandma sure knows a lot about great brownie recipes, but she knows nothing about little brown bats. Or any other kind of bats. There are about 1,100 species of bat in the world. About 720 are insectivores, meaning they eat bugs and moths. Like the bentwing bats that go high into the sky, eating millions of moths each night. Another kind of bat are fruit bats. They're also called flying foxes, and they eat fruit. Some, like the ghost bat, eat frogs, birds, and other bats. Only one drinks blood, the vampire bat, and usually from sheep and cows. Yeah, they're really our harmless and helpful fellow mammals. Plus wings. Well, I guess it's not attacking anybody. Well, you were kind of right, Jimmy. It was a bat attack. But the bat wasn't attacking you. It was attacking something else. Something you want it to attack. Where? Who? What'd I miss? I don't get it. Check out your arms, Jimmy. What? My mosquito bites. Mosquitoes? mosquitoes? They've been attacking us for days. Now check out bite size. In full bat attack! that when the bat was flying around my head, he wasn't trying to suck my blood? He was trying to catch a bug that was trying to suck your blood. Oh. You're right, MK. Bats are helpful. After I'm done adjusting these codes, the bro's miniaturizer will be able to shrink them to the size of ants. Sounds like fun, especially when we're on a picnic. As long as they don't eat my sandwich. That's it, Thornsley. Right this way. <laughs> Aw, look how precious he is. Yeah, this is Thornsley. We found him lost with a hurt foot. Yeah, we've got to get him back to his herd as soon as we can. Poor little guy. I'll get you a bandage. Ah! 
I'll check and see if I can get a visual on a herd in the area. There you go. All better. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Oh, I bet he's hungry. Elephant calves drink up to 11 liters of milk a day. We have lots of milk. Elephant milk is different than what we buy at the store. A little soy milk is okay, though. Okay, I'll feed him a tiny bit, then find a recipe that matches his mom's formula. And I'll feed on this giant sandwich. Oops, I forgot my water. All right, I found a herd of elephants not far from here. I just sent the coordinates to your creature pods. Thanks, Koki. Hopefully it's the one Thornsley belongs to. Here you go, Munchkin. You were really hungry, weren't you? No! <laughs> if I wanted pancakes, I would have made pancakes. Oh, Jimmy, he didn't mean it. Oh, great. No water either. <laughs> Looks like Thornsley's still thirsty. Check out the way he drinks. First he sucks the water into his trunk, then squirts it into his mouth. Oh, yeah, elephants don't have to bend down to get a drink. Their trunk does all the work. <laughs> it's like having a built-in straw in your nose. Whoa! Thornsley's trunk is a water blaster, too. <sighs> and a control panel fritzer. Oh, he didn't mean that either. He's so sweet and harmless. We better go look for his herd before it gets dark. Leave him here. We'll be fine. As long as he stays away from my lunch. I mean, he can stay as long as he wants. Okay, Jimmy. We need you to break this tie. Do you want to go see freshwater turtles or sea turtles? Sure, I want to see turtles. He said sea turtles. But that was sea turtles like see with your eyes turtles. It doesn't matter. He said sea turtles. Sea turtles, sea turtles, sea turtles, sea turtles, sea turtles. Sea turtles. Sea turtles, sea turtles. Sea turtles, sea turtles. Did somebody say sea turtles? Wait for me. All right. I've turned everything off I can think of. Okay, then. We're in emergency power-saving mode. And the Tellurian core is on life support. We only have enough power for either one creature power disk creation, maybe half a miniaturizer recharge, or one teleportation of an object. But only one choice and not all. Let's see how the guys are doing with their search for Tellurian crystals. Hello? Hello? What the world? Where on Earth are you guys? In Earth, actually. Yeah, we're taking a new approach to our tellurium search. We're seeing with heat vision and walking around through the tunnels of ground squirrels, walking behind a rattlesnake and... <laughs> uh, the only problem is pebbles on the ground don't give off heat. So we can't really see them with heat-seeing goggles on. Wait a sec. If we can't see the pebbles that are tripping us, then we won't be able to see the tellurium crystals either. We need to see with heat and with our eyes. Uh, Aviva, we need rattlesnake power suits. That would not be a good idea. Creating one power disc would suck up the remaining power. And remember, tellurium is very rare. Even with rattlesnake powers, there's no guarantee you'll find it. Oh, but ground squirrel burrows are extensive in the Sonoran Desert. Alone, they cover thousands and thousands of square kilometers. Of course we'll find tellurium. And we've got to do something. If we don't find tellurium, the power core will fade out in just two hours anyway. We've got to try. We do kind of have to try. We've got to try. I'm going to start modifying the eyelash viper disc with rattlesnake powers. Yeah, these rattlesnakes long, thin body design lets them go anywhere in the ground squirrel tunnels. He's just looking for a spot to set up an ambush. Hello? Martin, Chris, I'm done. The rattlesnake power discs are ready. Jimmy, cat. Energize and... Jimmy, no! We didn't have enough power for teleportation. Sorry, I forgot. We've got...
got 30 minutes. And then an irreversible meltdown begins. The Tortuga will be totally dead. But then, how are we gonna get the miniaturized rattlesnake power disc to the Crap Brothers so they can find the Tellurium? Jimmy, you'll have to deliver them by hand. What? He looks snake bit. Maybe that's what he's worried about. Jimmy, it's your job to teleport the discs, and we can't do that now, so you've got to hand deliver them. Come on, Jimmy, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, I can do it. Yay! Woohoo! All right, all right. <sighs> Uh, Jimmy? That's just a saguaro cactus. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. <sighs> okay, Jimmy, keep going. Oh. Chris? Martin? Perfect timing, buddy. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Catch you later, Jimmy. 